Hey, Void, how you doing? So, continuing my Shutter binge, jumping back to the earliest stuff posted, and going from there, and so far I've been finding a lot of good stuff back there. I really did enjoy the Beyond. Pieces was fun, and even though I'd already seen it, Count of the Holocaust hanging out back there, I believe I gave a pretty good review to back when I first started. So the next one I had actually never heard of. Society. Uh, Society is a 1989 movie, though it didn't actually come out in the U.S. until 92, I believe. Uh, it was released in other countries around the same time it actually came out. I'm not sure why there was such a delay. Uh, directed by Brian Yuzna of... Uh, he didn't do the original reanimator, but he did all the sequels, to my knowledge. And he had a few other uh, movies in that general gist. So, definitely good uh, there. Um, apparently this film, uh, it bombed when it first came out, but has kind of gone on to get a bit of a cult status since then. And I can see why, but this one I had just never heard of. I had no reference to this movie at all, so... I was glad I ended up seeing. It's it's a time, and definitely not to everyone's taste, but this one worked for me. Whew, boy, we're going to be talking about some awkward subjects today. Yay! Alright, so. Society. It's a horror comedy, because it is meant to be funny, and it's succeeding at that. It does feel like a... It's a weird mish, a mix of like an 80s shenanigans. I would, shenanigans kind of the right term for this. I guess more like an 80s rom com. No. Still not right. It's, a, it's definitely an 80s comedy, and it's. You, you'd know the feel if you got it. It's not quite as like uh, shenanigans as like Fast Times at Ridgemont High or. Dazed and confused, but it has a little bit of that flavor in there. And, uh, but I've also saw another reviewer refer to this movie as The Thing Meets Eyes Wide Shut, and I can see that. So that's kind of the animal we're working with here. So, Society uh, it follows uh, Billy, our teenage protagonist, who lives with his very wealthy family. Though he never felt like he really fit in with them. He spends a lot of time talking to his therapist to try to sort out why he's getting these unsettled feelings, particularly around his family or a lot of the adults in his life. But otherwise, everything is going well in his life. He's on the debate team, he's, I believe, on the basketball team, he's then very popular, he's actually uh, doing very well at uh, running for class president against someone who should have been a shoe-in. So, otherwise, many things are coming up Billy. Actually, I think he just might go by Bill, but he's played by Billy Warlock, so I keep messing that up. So, Bill. Okay. So, Bill, however, is paranoid that there's something weird with his family. Fears that are further concerned when, uh, confirmed when his, uh, friend who used to date his sister gives him a begins acting strange and paranoid and gives him a tape that he recorded off of the family that has some very disturbing implications particularly in terms of uh, the, her coming out in the society party which sounds like uh, I'll just come out and say it incestuous sex orgy yeah but so uh and thus begins Bill's uh, descent into utter paranoia about who he can trust, what's going on, why it's going on. Tries to bring the tape to his therapist. His, his therapist uh, later shows back up with the tape, but it sounds completely normal. Uh, he tries to get another copy of the tape from his friend. There's a car accident that takes his friend out. On the right, right away. Someone else tries to give him some intel. They should turn up dead. So, things start happening. Meanwhile, he keeps seeing some rather odd or disturbing things, like 
while zipping up uh, his sister's dress, there seems to be a strange, like, bulge from beneath her skin. And uh, he gets kind of a glimpse of her through the glass of the shower, but her body is oddly contorted. Meanwhile, uh, he's in the, then he's having an awkward uh, new romance with a, a girl from the higher society also, who's pretty much trying to, been trying to seduce him away from his current girlfriend. And things seem a bit strange with her due to her odd contortions in bed. And, well, it cult culminates in uh, the ending it just goes way over the top. And I'm not going to be spoiling that one. So, but let's just say uh, the special effects budget kind of goes into overdrive at the end. And it's all practical effects and oh my. Alright, so... I really did like this one. Soundtrack worked, the practical effects were brilliant. The acting was a weird mix of really good on uh, Bill's part for being paranoid. Right? And over the top for anyone who's in society. That uh, for being either over the top rich douche or over-the-top batshit insane once uh, the hammer drops, and it's fun to watch. Those last scenes are disturbing, but also hilarious. So, it is a strange animal, but I really was digging this one. Uh, if there's one gripe I would have, I would say it would be uh, Shauna, Bill's current girlfriend at the start of the film, which... I can understand why she's upset with him, because he's constantly looking at other girls, and then another girl literally begins pretty much inserting herself between them, but at the same time, all we see is her angry at him, and often for a few things that aren't really his fault, and she's con and her constantly upset and berating him, to the point where she pretty much breaks up with him right away, which he tries to stop, so... He, that, so when uh, he follows the the other girl, um, whose name is currently escaping me, um, do I have it right here? Ah, Clarissa. Uh, so home, and uh, she starts stalking him, finds his jeep out there, and gets further upset, And uh, even though she already broke up with him. So, I don't know why they were together. All they seem to do is have, be is have problems, and he's having legitimate paranoid problems with her, with uh, his family, and all she's concerned about is why he didn't get her into a party. So, her character really was obnoxious to me. I mean, I could see there being an interesting arc there with uh, the seduction angle if the girl he was currently with actually... The audience is not really endeared to her at all. And we can, I, we can understand why she'd be upset with him, but not why they are together in the first place, or why they should stay together. So, the society girl who maybe more than she seems actually ends up you actually end up starting to root for her along the way because there actually seems to be a decent romantic chemistry building up there. So you see why those two are getting together, despite her possibly having some disturbing parts to herself. But their thing seems to have more the romance has more legs than the. Well, what should have been the normal shoe-in one, so... My nitpick. Overall, I'm gonna give this one 8 MacGuffins. Very high rated. So, I'm definitely enjoying this, uh, trip back through, uh, the early Shutter Library, so... I'm gonna keep going at that throughout my vacation here, trying to get one to two in a day. See how that goes. I might not always make it, but I'll probably at least... Lately I've been watching one just before bed, so I'll always have time for at least that one. Don't know if I'll have time for others along the way, but we'll see what we can do. All right. See you later, boys.